Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. U Heart Subroutine or VU Heart Subroutine in Abacus, a comprehensive and example oriented package for advanced Abacus and finite element users. Let's look at its content in this 10 minutes demo. If you want to start analyzing your projects in Abacus, it is better to save your time by watching this demo and making your decision easier. Do not waste your time watching amateur and big videos on YouTube. This package contains one lesson and four workshops in more than 120 minutes and here I will present you the syllabus of some workshops and we can see some selected parts of them. In lesson main below questions are discussed. When do you need to use UHART or VUHART subroutines? How does this subroutine work? How to use UHART and VUHART subroutines? What are the variables of subroutines? What is the difference between UHART and the UHART subroutines? Hello guys, in this package we explain the UHART subroutine for standard solver and VUHART for explicit solver. Needless to say, you must know some stuff about writing subroutine and be familiar with the Fortran. You can find some articles about Fortran programming and writing subroutine on our website. After you learn this package, you can check other packages such as UMAT and VUMAT on our website. This package includes more than 60 minutes of tutorial videos containing theories behind the simulations, simulation steps, and tips and tricks you need to know. Also, we have some particle examples from basic to advanced to show you how to write a UHART and VUHART subroutine. The package contains all simulation files, text files, subroutines and basically anything you need. In the first chapter, you will know when to use a subroutine and how does this subroutine work. You will learn the subroutine interface, required and optional variables, and how to use the UHART and VUHART subroutine in the second chapter. The third chapter talks about the difference between the UHART and VUHART subroutine, like their variables. Finally, in the last chapter, we will explain how to set the required settings in the Abacus CAE when using the subroutine in any analysis. Next, we have four workshops. In the first one, we implement the UHART subroutine for isotropic hardening or formulation based in a simple model. In the second workshop, we use the VU Heart subroutine in deep drawing simulation for isotropic hardening database. We also have element removal. In the third workshop, we have a simulation of material under pressure. The U Heart subroutine is implemented as an internal subroutine combined with the UMAT. Finally, in the last workshop, we will simulate incremental forming with the VUHART subroutine on a model named Dharmasena. Now, let's see what the uses of these subroutines are. In the Abacus, we have several types of hardening such as isotropic, kinematic, combined, and so on. Suppose you need to define a hardening that doesn't exist in the abacus, or you need to, to change the available hardenings. In that case, that's where you use the UHART and VUHART subroutines. Let's see the concepts of hardenings. First, we have the perfect plasticity hardening. Here, the yield stress is constant. The second hardening is isotropic. Now the settings you need to do in the Abacus GUI. When you select the plastic material in the property module, you must select the user from the hardening. You can enter the props here. 
Also, you can enter the number of state variables here. Select the deep var from the general tab and define the number of state variables here. Let's explore the first workshop. It implements the U-Hard subroutine for isotropic hardening in a simple model. This hardening here is a formulation based. In the next workshop, the hardening will be data based. The model is a cube with the dimension L on which the, the displacement U is applied. We have the elastic module and density here. The plasticity coefficients in the formula are indicated here. The dimension is 100 mm and the displacement is 5 mm. Now let's write the subroutine. First we need to know the hardening formulation we want to use in the subroutine. So we write the formula in the first line as a comment. As you see, the yield stress is almost 200 and the nonlinear curve here is as expected. Now, this time, let's see the equivalent plastic strain stress curve. In this workshop, we want to apply the VU hard subroutine for isotropic hardening data based element removal. Note that the VU hard subroutine uses the explicit solver. The data based method uses the plastic strain and yield stress data as inputs, while in the previous workshop, we used the formulation. Also, we have element deletion in this workshop. After the input data is inserted, the subroutine will check the number of inputs. If the, there is only one input indicates that the stress equals the initial yield stress and the slope is zero. If the equivalent plastic strain is less than the initial plastic strain, the stress equals the initial yield stress and the slope is zero. You can see both curves in one diagram. The brown curve is for the subroutine model and the green one is for the Abacus model. In this workshop, we are going to implement the U-Hard subroutine as an internal subroutine combined with UMAT. In this uh, simulation, we will use isotropic hardening. We will implement the subroutine on a part being under upwards pressure. We create an axisymmetric part because the model geometry has symmetry about the vertical axis. The geometry of the axisymmetric model is a rectangular with a length of L and a width of W, which are specified here. Line 7 indicates that we are using an implicit solver. If V was at the beginning of this expression, it indicates that we are using an explicit solver. In line 9, the CM name character is defined with a proper accuracy so that if we have different materials, we can identify them by CM name and assign them different formulas. As you can see, the results are precisely the same. 
Note that after the final value of the yield stress is entered, the yield stress is considered constant. From the View menu, ODB Display option, you can sweep the model around its symmetric axis. In this workshop, we will simulate the incremental forming with VU Heart subroutine. On a model named Dharmasena Modified Based. We have the elastic properties here elasticity modulus, density, the mass of the plate, and the moment of the energia of the plate. Also, we have the plasticity properties, yield the stress, and other parameters. We need them for relations we want to use, which we will explain later. Here we have the Young's modulus multiplied by the tangent modulus over E minus ET equals H prime or EP. We must plot the equivalent plastic strain and check whether it will increase logically or not. Remember, we cannot do this method with stress because of the wave propagation mentioned before. If you see this plot carefully, you can see that the plastic strain is increasing logically. I hope you have got enough information about this package. But don't worry at all. If you have any questions about this tutorial, ask us via support at caeassistant.com.